Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little sun hat for babies between three and six months old. It's super easy to make. I'd say that it's ideal for beginners, so I hope you like it. Now, like I said, the little hat that we're going to make in the tutorial is for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a preemie size and up to an adult size using standard size measurements that I'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial. So make sure to continue watching for that. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, to make the little hat for three to six months, you're going to need about 34 grams of yarn. I used about 30 grams in white and about four grams in pink. Now, I highly recommend that you use cotton yarn since acrylic yarn tends to be too hot for the summertime, so make sure to do that. Okay, let's get started, and thank you so much for watching. To crochet this hat, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three or A ply, and actually you can use any yarn weight with any hook size. We're going to be following some standard size measurements. These are the two measurements that we're going to need. First, we're going to need the width of the crown, and then we're going to continue for the total length of the hat. So if you want to take a screenshot of this these are the two measurements that we're going to need we don't need this head circumference measurement this is for a different uh, design that's when you start from the bottom up um, we're going to start from the top of the head down so to begin here I'm going to make a magic circle so hold the yarn like this wrap it around two fingers hold it insert your hook through this loop here and grab a loop here's the magic circle now we're going to chain two these two chains will never count as a stitch from here on now inside this circle here we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets so yarn over insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off take two loops off here's the first double crochet i'm going to continue like this until i have 12 double crochets so continue Let's make these 12 double crochets and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets. Now all you have to do is just pull this string here and your magic circle is going to close. Now after we're done, you can just weave this end all around so that it's more secured. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the top of the first double crochet, not the chains. Go on top of the first double crochet here and join with a slip stitch and here's the first row with 12 double crochets now for the second row i'm going to chain two and right into this first double crochet which is the same one that we joined to make a double crochet now into this first double crochet which is the same one that we did this first double crochet on top i'm going to work a front post double crochet Now on top of the next double crochet, which is the second double crochet here, make a double crochet and also make a front post double crochet. Again, on top of the next, make a double crochet and a front post double crochet. Here we're increasing and at the same time we're working these front post double crochets. So again, on top of the next, make a double crochet and into this same, make a front post double crochet. So continue like this all around. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 24 double crochets. We're going to have 12 regular double crochets and we're going to have 12 front post double crochets. Continue on each at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 24 stitches. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 12 regular double crochets, not including the two chains. Now to finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row with a total of 24 stitches. Now from here on, the front post stitches will always remain the same. We're always going to have 12. So for the third row here, chain two, 
Now we have the first two double crochets on top of this first double crochet, which is the same one that we joined to make a double crochet. Now we have the next double crochet, which is a front post double crochet, make a double crochet on top and make a front post double crochet into this first front post stitch there. Again, we have the next two double crochets. We're going to make a double crochet into this one and a double crochet into the front post and then also make the front post double crochet. So make a double crochet on top of this next one a double crochet on top of the front post and make your front post double crochet. The front post double crochets will always remain the same while we make the circle here. Again, we have the next double crochet, make a double crochet. We have the front post, make a double crochet on top and a front post double crochet. One more time, we have the next two. We have a regular double crochet and a front post. So on top of the double crochet, make a double crochet. On top of the front post, make a double crochet. And into the front post, also make a front post double crochet. And this is how I'm going to continue all around. At the end of this third row, I'm going to have 36 double crochets. I'm going to have 24 regular double crochets and 12 front post double crochets. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here's my last stitch. It's a front post double crochet. I have a total of 36 stitches here at the end of this third row. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 24 regular double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row four, I'm going to chain two. Now we have these three stitches. We have two regular double crochets and one front post double crochet. Here I'm going to make one double crochet on each one of these stitches. So beginning on top of the first one, which is the same one that we joined to, make your first double crochet. On top of the next one, make a double crochet. And on top of the third, which is the front post, make a double crochet. Here are my three double crochets. Now don't forget to make the front post double crochet as well. This is how we're going to continue here. So again, we have the next three stitches, two regular double crochets and one front post. I'm going to make a double crochet on top of each one. And I'm also going to make my front post double crochet. Again, we have the next three, make a double crochet on each one. And a front post double crochet. One more time, we have the next three stitches, make a double crochet on top of each one. and a front post double crochet. Now, this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the fourth row. Remember that the front post stitches always remain the same. We're always going to have 12. At the end of this fourth row, I'm going to have 48 double crochets. I'm going to have 12 front post double crochets and 36 regular double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 48 stitches. I have 36 regular double crochets and I have 12 of these front post double crochets. To finish this fourth row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now we're going to measure this. We're going to start to measure this to make sure we are on track with the measurement. This here right now, it's about eight, almost eight and a half centimeters, which is a little bit less than three and a half inches. If you're making this for a premature baby, you have the measurement that you need because for preemie, it needs to be between 7.5 centimeters to nine centimeters. So this here is perfect. You would just continue with the rest and you would just forward the video to the section where I continue and stop decreasing. Here we're going to continue now for the fifth row. I'm going to chain two. 
and here we have the next four stitches we have the front post and three regular double crochets we're going to make one double crochet on each one of these stitches so beginning with this first one i'm going to make the first double crochet into the next that's two three and four now make your front post double crochet and do the same thing for the next four make one double crochet on top of each one one two three four and then your front post double crochet one more time make one double crochet into the next four one two three four and make your front post double crochet this is how you're going to continue for the fifth row at the end of this row you're going to have a total of 60 stitches we're going to have 12 front post double crochets and then 48 double crochets continue on each at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 48 regular double crochets. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to continue and make one more row. I still need to uh, get to the measurement that I need for three to six months. So I think one more row will do it. So here for row six, I'm going to chain two. And here I have the next five stitches. We have four regular double crochets and one front post. So into these next five, I'm going to make one double crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one. On top of the next, that's two. On top of the next, that's three. On top of the next, that's four. And on top of the next, which is the front post, make your fifth double crochet. So now make a front post double crochet again on top of the next five make a double crochet one two three four five and then a front post double crochet again on top of the next five make one double crochet that's one two three four five and then a front post double crochet continue like this for this sixth row at the end of this row we're going to have 72 stitches 12 front post double crochets and 60 regular double crochets i will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of the sixth row. At the end of this row, I have 72 stitches. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 60 regular double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the sixth row. Now I measure this and I have the measurement that I need for three to six months, which is 12.5 centimeters, which is a little bit less than five inches. So based on my measurements here for the width of the crown i have the measurement that i need so now we're going to continue with the total length we're not going to increase anymore at least for my hat i don't need to increase anymore so now i'm going to go here to this measurement so the total length needs to be about 15 centimeters or about six inches now we're going to continue until i have about an inch and a half or about three centimeters from the total length so that we can start to shape the brim of the hat and this is going to be the same for all sizes if you're making this for a bigger size where you need to continue and make the circle bigger you would just continue with the same sequence for example for the seventh row you would need to make let's see two four six double crochets and then a front post double crochets and then again six double crochets and then a front post double crochet that way you're increasing 12 more stitches at the end of that row and then for row eight you would do seven double crochets and then a front post double crochet until you have the measurement that you need i have a measurement that i need i don't need to increase so this is how i'm going to work the seventh row i'm going to chain two and here i'm going to make five double crochets so beginning on top of the first make the first double crochet that's one two three four five now 
the next stitch here is the front post I'm going to make a front post double crochet again I'm going to make five double crochets one two three four five and into the next which is the front post make a front post double crochet and this is how i'm going to continue now for the rest of the seventh row at the end of this row i'm going to have 72 double crochets i'm still going to have the 12 front post and then the rest are going to be just regular double crochets so continue for this seventh row i will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of the seventh row. I have a total of 72 stitches. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 60 regular double crochets. Now to finish this seventh row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the seventh row. From here on, this is the row that you're going to repeat and you're going to continue until you have about three centimeters left from the total length, which is about an inch and a half so that we can start to shape the brim of the hat. And and this again is the same for all sizes so here for now you're just going to continue and work rows and again you're just going to repeat the same thing we did in the seventh row so for row eight chain two and here you're going to make five double crochets so beginning on top of the first make your first double crochet on top of the next that's two three four five and then a front post double crochet again you're going to repeat the same thing five double crochets one two three four five and then a front post double crochet at the end of the eighth row you're going to also have 72 stitches just like we did for the seventh row so continue and continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do I'm not sure so I'll meet you at the end of that row I finished making this part I have done a total of 13 rows and it's measuring from the top to the end of the last row it's measuring about 12 centimeters which is about 4.75 inches now according to my measurements for three to six months this needs to measure about 15 centimeters or about six inches so I still have a little bit over an inch left which is about three centimeters from the total height so if you're making this for any other size make sure to stop making rows here until you have have about 1.25 inches or about three centimeters left from the total height now the next couple rows that I'm going to do are going to be the same for all sizes so here for row 14 I'm going to chain two remember the two chains never count in this row I'm going to increase all around and this is how we're going to do this in this first double crochet make two double crochets into the next make one into the next make two so here we're making double crochet increases every other stitch into the next one two double crochets into the next one into the next then two that's how you're going to continue two one two one all around i will meet you at the end of this 14th row I'm here at the end of this 14th row I have a total of 108 double crochets now if you're making your hat for any other size and you have more stitches make sure that this row row 14 is in multiples of six so here to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for row 15 I'm going to chain three these three chains counts as a double crochet now into this same stitch here which is the first double crochet i'm going to make four more double crochets we're going to be making these fans here for this row and each fan is going to consist of five double crochets so here's the first fan i have three chains plus four double crochets now skip two double crochets and on top of the third make a single crochet skip two double crochets and on top of the third make a fan each fan is going to be separated by a single crochet that's why this row here needs to be in multiples of six 
there five double crochets now skip two and on top of the third make a single crochet skip two on top of the third make a fan there that's five double crochets skip two on top of the third make a single crochet skip two on top of the third make a fan this is how you're going to continue for row 15 so continue i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of row 15 in this row we did these fans separated by single crochets now here at the end i did my last single crochet then i skipped the last two double crochets and on top of the third chain here at the beginning i joined with a slip stitch i cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop so at the end of this 15th row i have 18 fans now for row 16 what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to this yarn color. If you want to leave the hat like this, it's done. It's a very simple and basic baby sun hat that you can make for any size. So I'm going to make one more row here. Uh, remember that the last three rows that I did here are the same for all sizes. The important thing is that when you do the row here where we increase, it's in multiples of six. Now to continue and make this last row, row 16, I'm going to go between these first two double crochets. This is the first fan. So these are the three chains and we have the next double crochet. So between these first two double crochets, grab a loop here, bring it through, chain three. Now between the next two double crochets, make a slip stitch chain three between the next two a slip stitch chain three between the next two make a slip stitch now between the fans you're going to chain three and then you're going to work a front post single crochet right here into this single crochet chain three again and we have the next fan so starting between the next two double crochets, make a slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch between the next two, chain three, slip stitch between the next two, chain three, slip stitch between the next two, chain three, front post single crochet between the fans, and again chain three and start with a slip stitch between the first two double crochets of the next fan and so on this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row 16. let me show you one more time here And a front post single crochet chain three and a slip stitch between the first two double crochets of the next fan and so on and this is how it looks look how beautiful the fans look so each one of the fans is going to have counting after the front post you're going to have one two three four five chain three spaces continue like this all around for row 16 I will meet you at the end I finished this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. Now all I need to do is just hide this end and the little sun hat is all done. Look how beautiful this looks. Now here what I did all around is I just made two very long chains. With the 3.5 millimeter hook, I chained about 125 chains and I started weaving my uh, chain here on this side, started here on one side and then ended on the opposite side. And then with the second chain, I started here and then ended up here so that here, right in the middle, I have two cords so that I can tie it around the baby's face. So let me show you. Here's my little model. Her head circumference is for three to six months. So let's try it on her since this little hat is for three to six months. So here, like I said, these cords, you can just tie it like this around the baby's face. It's optional. You can also use 
a ribbon if you prefer. So this little hat is all done. This is how it looks. It's for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger using the standard size measurements that I provided you with at the beginning of the tutorial. Now you're going to need a total of 34 grams of yarn. In the main color, I used about 30 grams. And then in the secondary color, which is the pink, I used about four grams. You will need less or more depending on the size that you make. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.